So this is the aircraft wire that I use. So aircraft stainless steel lock wire, you can find it on Amazon. I'm at 0 0.04 or 1.04 millimeters. That's what I'm using and it's working great. So, so I've got my tethers complete. I've got the gas tank tethered here. I've also got another tether so that if it twists and comes unbolted, we've got it at different angles or different axis of rotation. So with this style muffler, what I did was I wired it on to itself, to the clamp, so that if the clamp somehow comes off, it's gonna stay on this piece, but it's also tethered to the frame. So either way, it goes to the frame. I'm gonna keep that because it's working just fine and I won't have to worry about any pieces of wire poking me in the back of the neck. So I'm just gonna leave that as a tether for the air filter. This epoxy, so I've got some JB Weld. It's high heat, 550 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got some pretty good tensile strength. And I've used this before. I've used it on a motorcycle before and it handled the high heat well. So this says mufflers and tail pops. So it's resealable so I can reuse it. I'm gonna mix some of this up. It takes and one hour to cure if you apply heat to it. I don't see any other interpretation to that, but I'm gonna give it you know, your standard curing time just to be safe because I'm not gonna apply heat to it to cure. Up real quick. Squirt that together. So we've got two different mixing agents. Won't take much. When those bind together, it's gonna create a pretty strong epoxy. Like I said, I've used this before be the simplest way to put this together so I want to blend this together until it's nice and gray all right that's pretty good right there so it's got some set time You've got a limited amount of time that you can use this before it starts to set okay so I decided to go ahead and JB weld another nut on there right side muffler with this right side muffler they're identical and um, We'll get it all tethered down. and So with this style muffler, I went ahead and went with the tethering system with the JB Weld, the high heat JB Weld with this one as well. So just like I did on the top one, let it cure. I went ahead and went 24 hours and I wired it to the frame so that if it comes detached, it can't go into the prop. So this is the nut that I used the high heat JB weld on. So it's the same as what I did on the other muffler. And it's gonna be tied to the weld. That's the only one I have left. I'm letting it finish cure. Once the curing process finishes on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and wire it to the frame. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video with this. Those are my major tethers, tying everything down so that if something comes off, it's highly unlikely it'll go in the prop now.